Rock Hill, South Carolina to the legendary Winthrop Gold. Lots of changes. It is Wednesday, one day before the tournament. I just landed, Simon style, here in hole one. Let's see, Mindbender, just restocked by the way, probably by when I post this video, not available anymore, but maybe. Before I started filming this video, before I, my practice round, I thought maybe, maybe I'm just gonna play this weekend super safe, or at least round one and see what happens. But after this practice round, the weather out here is just perfect. It's gonna be perfect all weekend, mid 70s, low winds. Like if you don't attack, like why are you here? Like I feel like in my life, I just don't travel and play this much disc golf to lay up. It just feels, so deeply wrong inside my soul that I just can't make myself do it. So I think I'm just gonna go out here and play as good as I can, make smart choices like I'm trying to do all year and see where that puts me. Courses like this with all the OB, roll away potentials, always need a bit of luck. I've had a lot of great things happen this year. And if I putt, if I putt well, not like that, Like that, then I think I can have a great weekend. And if I could finish in the top 10, that would be awesome. I wanna go make Paul's putt from last year. Oh, for the win. I have a caddy this week who's gonna film during my rounds. Happy to be here, honored. Hopefully it's less suffering than normal. We go there actually. Do you think you can win this week? After everything that's happened this year, it would be stupid to say no. So, yes, I think 100% so. 100% you can. Right behind me is the Championship Village with all the vendors. The players' meeting is going to be there in like 30 minutes. And they have a little nine hole. I don't know what it's called, but it's like an ace championship. And, and here's an ace right all the here. Holes are like 100 feet. Oh. What? No! Or the best. Dance. Yes. How do you feel about that? I'm only happy if I get back to back on the next hole. Yes! Come on, baby! Good, Jeff. Big Heiser bomb, get in. Oh! Jeff with the ace! Unbelievable Thank shot. You. Thank right. everyone for being here. <laughs> I don't know what this is right now. Yeah. As soon as he put the phone away. Oh, no, no, I filmed it. Is it It is the morning of round one. I have about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe until tea time. So we're gonna get to the course and I'll have 45 minutes to warm up, which is plenty for me, actually it's too much. I like having like 10 minutes, honestly, just throw a couple shots, make some putts and just go out there. We're full of hope, naive. Hope springs eternal. No, I get to play with Brody Smith, Alex Russell and Max Rigetnik from Sweden, so. Pretty stoked about that card. No cameras. I don't know how many people I'm gonna expect out there today. Probably not too many. It's perfect weather. And just bring it on, Winthrop Gold. Bring it on. I'm ready. I'll take anything. Pressure is on. No pressure. I actually, I actually, Beautiful day. I actually feel. Feel not enough nerves. Oh. Like I'm nervous when I don't feel nervous. You'll feel it when you step up to the tee. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It ain't your first rodeo. No, this is routine. Full routine.
representing Germany, Simon Lazat. Birdie on the difficult first. Easy on the course. You can't birdie them all if you don't birdie the first. Then. That's exactly why I shouldn't be thinking. <laughs> Two under front nine. Whole ten. Went for it. Long OB. Nice, as always. So how do you feel so far about this round? I don't know. I felt like I was playing good on the front nine, but not, not good enough. <laughs> not good enough. Mm -hmm. Like every hole is just like you're off by an inch and you get so punished. Just like it feels like I'm working so hard to do well, and then one unlucky kick here or there, and it's like the work was all for nothing. That's what it feels like. How's the winer cam? Yes. How's so the we course? have the winer cam on. Yeah, it's on. How uh, how is the course playing today? You say difficult. A little breezy, a little gusty, but not bad. Temperatures. But this is the best weather I think we've had for UCGC, so it's pretty good. Okay. Well, now I gotta make it freaking to go 25 make this footer for 25 footer. Should be no problem. Assess your round two thirds of the way through. It's definitely something to build on right now. And if I have a strong finish, if I don't get any more bogeys and maybe a couple more birdies, I really can't complain too much about today. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hot scores are going to be out here. If someone shoots double digits, it's going to be pretty amazing because every birdie out here is just so hard to earn and you just got to be on point. That's what I mean. Lizard. I thought I could get a nature moment, but he was too fast. I'll get one of the spider tomorrow. The legendary Winthrop spider. Hole five. Four now. No, five. Um, you'll see tomorrow. Badass yellow spider. Nice Airbnb, Jeff. Thank you, Eagle and Joy Tamale, for choosing. We're just... Sad Eagle can't be here to enjoy it with us. This is the post round beer. Shout out Lagunitas. Always a solid Cheers. choice. Oh, so weird. After a disc golf round, I don't, I don't really drink too much usually, but a beer after a round is just, for some reason, feels necessary. This is one of those moments where it like really feels good. I'm going to do a round recap down there at the lake later. Maybe going to try to catch a fish. But I'm on chase card. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And tomorrow my card is Calvin Heimberg, Gannon Burr, and Alden Harris. So that's definitely something to look forward to. And I think the course treated me pretty well today. The unlucky kicks and the lucky kicks kind of evened out today. 
and before the tournament, I kind of thought if you average six down, that might that might be enough. You never really know. Leading right now is eight down. Ricky tied with Niklas Antila, representing Finland, which is kind of cool that he's on top. So tomorrow, chase card. Haven't been on too many chase cards out here, so. All in all, it was a good day. Hopefully I can back it up tomorrow with another good round. Hopefully another six or maybe seven or eight would be really nice. The fish definitely aren't biting like the birdies were today, but I'm okay with that. I know nothing about fishing. <laughs> Welcome to day two. It's heating up, nice 80s. 80 degrees out here, it's cooking a bit. Tee off in like three minutes. Gannon, Alden, Calvin, Heinberg, the one and only. <sighs> no nerves really, maybe a bit of excitement, but nothing really crazy. Got a nice little gallery lined up. And another couple under par would be nice. How about no? Hole 10 is my main goal today, I think. I really want to just get it in bounds for the first time in like two years. Like, come on. All right, I gotta focus now. All right. <sighs> Round two is in the books, and wow. <laughs> I got on the struggle bus early and I tried so hard to get off of it, but couldn't. I was like buckled in tightly. I think I can put together a little sad music putt fail compilation for this round. Winthrop Gold every year just testing the limits of your mental strength and oh, this golf is so fun sometimes and sometimes it's so unbelievably frustrating. It's a good mixture. Of course is our office and we gotta do what we gotta do is every day just a different experience. It's never just easy and dropped down the leaderboard pretty hardcore water slide down the leaderboard got a cool card tomorrow that's always the silver lining if you play bad at least you get to play with the cool people luke humphreys and kevin jones on the card tomorrow so that'll be fun <sighs> but um other than that i'm still feeling good and i'm gonna try my best it's all you can do in life is try your best and see what happens so i'll catch up tomorrow it's time for beer and uh maybe sleep i didn't sleep well last night my life is hard. Thank you. Good night. There's good news and bad news. The good news is I feel great. The bad news is that I forgot my shoes at the Airbnb. And, and then the Hey Dudes. Hey Dudes, which if anyone has ever worn Hey Dudes, they are extremely comfortable but have a severe lack of grip or stability in any way. So uh, Joey was still back at the house and I told him to bring my shoes. I don't think he'll make it quite before my tea time, but by hole two or three, I think I should have proper shoes. You'll be okay on The amount of times I forgot shoes going disc golfing is shockingly sad.
teed off on hole five. Four, four holes in, he made a double on hole three. For some reason, it didn't feel like a double. Like, I mean, I, I played the hole kind of sucky, but not, didn't feel like a double bogey. This just happens out here so fast. And it's a fine line. I feel like I haven't made a mistake, really, and I'm two over par for four holes. This is so freaking frustrating, and it just deflates all kind of fun and motivation, but look at all the fans out here, and people want to see us throw and have fun. So I guess I'm gonna act like I'm having a good time, and I wouldn't rather be sitting on our porch and having a beer. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's not all acting. I'm still trying. We're still only a bit over halfway through this tournament, so I just, my professional brain should tell me that what would you I'd say? Never give up. What would you say is the difference between rounds like this and when you are contending slash winning? I don't know. It feels like there's such a tiny difference that it it's almost not measurable. It's like one one inch here, one foot there, and it, everything changes. It's literally that's all, literally all it is. Trying to stay positive, but not a lot going our way. No, it's oh, it's a debate in my brain the whole time. What's the point? Like I've been just doing it for so long, and I've seen everything so many times. Literally like 15, 20 years. So many tournaments. I've seen everything. Everything that can happen will happen. Go in the hole, and it's just like when my putting is gone. I'm just missing any kind of like motivation to be like, I need to get it back. Like, come on, I figure things out. It's more like, it'll come back eventually. <laughs> just kind of like, ugh. Everything's just, hey, at least it's not raining. That's <laughs> great weather. That's the only thing you can really say right now. And I'm healthy and relatively happy, so. And the family's good. Nice shot. Am I par or one under? One under. One under. I guess it could be worse going to 17. 17, anything is possible. But at least my mood is up much better than yesterday. And just excited to get another ace run in now. Yeah. And we got Avery Jenkins walking with us. Wow, yeah, just, just kicking it, hanging out. That's some good action right here. Yeah, that this makes is, everything better. Right this here. is like one of the better cards out here right now, too. Live. Not game-wise, just person-wise. Camaraderie-wise, I'm gonna say, yeah, personality-wise for sure. <laughs> Score-wise, maybe not so much. Not today, at least. Yeah. That's how I That's feel That's called right a now. trunk slamming round right there. Um. So this course, just at any point, it can just, you can Ruin battle back life. under par and then, then it's you have so whole 17. It's so weird how human brains work. Like, so weird how it affects you that much, how, if you play well or not. Uh, it's kind of a uh, pain, mental pressing. pain. It's so sad that, I mean, I'm out here playing disc golf in beautiful weather, people watching and cheering and playing with good friends too. and. Still, during the round, I've got to constantly remind me, at least I'm healthy. <laughs> it's so sad. Well, you've been doing it forever, you know. It's, just, just, this is what people don't see, is this side of, you know, you see you when you're winning and playing well and all that, and here's, here's the battle, the other side of it, that's so hard about touring, about being out on the road, about playing the same events every year, and there's scar tissue from things from the past, and then... Sometimes it's just hard to get it going. I don't know what it is with the majors. I just can't put it together. Usually I start terribly and then just fight back the whole tournament. And this tournament I started off good and then just 
wasn't pressure, it wasn't nerves, it was, I don't know, it's not, no explanation. It's one inch here, one inch there. <sighs> Sometimes I don't like this game, it feels so fluky. So fluky. But now it's beer fishing time. and beer time. Yeah, that'll help a lot. All right. The only good part of sucking at this tournament is you get here early and it's quiet, not too many people. It feels more relaxed and private. Do you have any goals left, thoughts left on the final round at this point? I was thinking just trying shots because... Full on I mean, Simon I, lines? If I play a great round, I'll be like 25th. If I play a terrible round, I'll be like 70th, 60th. And mediocre round, 50th, 40th. So it's like... <laughs> Representing Germany, Simon Lazat. Dead center bounce out. Roll and two. Away, two roll away. Roll away for two eagle. They ended up seeing a bogey. Yeah. This golf is fun. It can be. Tournament's over. <laughs> what a weird week. Gannon Burr just tapped in for the win. Congratulations. Unbelievable battle with Niklas. Some of those putts were absolutely insane. I don't know how he did that. 17 years old, major champion, USCGC. Crazy. He was due for a big win and he took the biggest, basically. I finished in 57th out of 96, just way below average, but that's, for some reason, this course always just tears me apart. My round today was a couple inches away from course record, it felt like, and uh, that's golf. That's disc golf. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this together. But uh, it'll be fun. Thanks for watching. And maybe I'll do some more YouTube coming up off-season style.